Okay, so some of you might be interested in what I've been up to um, to get uh, Otto to be controlled using uh, a radio control. Okay, so this thing here is a hexapod that my wife bought me. It's a Freenove hexapod, um, and the upgraded version came with its, uh, its own joystick controller. Um, now, this is um, going to be using the NRF24001 um, radio uh, module. This normally plugs into this part here on the hexapod. In fact, this part here takes the ESP8266. So this can be controlled by Wi-Fi as well. Uh, something I'm going to look into how they did that uh, and, and do that for, for Otto. Okay, so yep, so this, this came with it. Let's just move the hexapod. <clears throat> so this came with it and you can see it's uh, basically it's a Freenove Uno. Uh, yes, Otto is not going to like that. It's a Freenove uh, Uno and you just plug the joystick control into the top here. Yes, also it's getting some random signals there. All right, let's just turn the radio off. Okay, auto is quiet now. Okay, so this is an analog controller, um, which means that when I'm controlling auto, let's just reset the, the radio. Uh, when I'm controlling Otto, um, I've got analog control over him. Now, these were the old NRF uh, 24L01s, uh, and they had known issues with um, communication. Uh, you had to actually solder a, a capacitor. It's a 10 microfarad capacitor across the ground and the uh, power in. Okay, this is a, this is the one I put in Otto. It, it's, it's overkill. It's the new version uh, with an antenna. Um, so I've actually got radio control up to one kilometer. I can't even see him at the end of the room. So what I'd be doing at one kilometer, I don't know. Um, and I've popped him in, popped that into uh, the extension. <coughs> so I've just drilled a hole. Nothing, nothing fancy in there. I just basically uh, hot glued it to, to the back there and made all the connections inside. Um, Otto's been run on a, a 7.4 volt uh, LiPo with a buck converter. Um, nice, nice power to the servos and and good clean um, connection with the radio. Okay, so, so this is the analog side of things. So basically with any analog controller, of course, um, it's not just on and off like the Bluetooth. So if I push slightly forwards, I can get Otto to move slowly. Let me just move him back a little bit. So just a slight touch in the forwards direction, Otto moves slowly and then full on with the controller, Otto goes mad. So what I'm doing is I'm mapping the analog values and then writing them to the, um, the standard auto control functions. Uh, so of course it can go backwards slowly or fast. And with the switches and the potentiometers, so you have not just the analog control, I mean, there's a Z direction, which I've just made auto go up and down. Oh, you can't quite see him. That's a Z direction. Yeah, so it picks up that uh, and then left, uh, or fast uh, but then of course we can also have just like you would do on a on a games controller combinations of, of switches so if I go left and switch uh, switches and directions we've got the moonwalk fast or slower like that uh, now what on earth did I put on yep it just goes through its routine I can't remember what I put on two let's see Okay, so in the other direction, presumably, whoop, nearly tilts. Yep, so it's just combinations of the analog um, controller with uh, switch controls. Uh, you've got plenty of functions if you start to show some imagination. Um, my code's uh, not very good. Um, I've hacked it from the Freenove um, just so that I could get things running with Otto. But it's quite nice to see proper full radio control. A lot of people claim they do radio control. Uh, they're using the Bluetooth. Uh, this really is radio control with analog functions on auto, which I think is quite nice.